Assalamu alaikum. Welcome in Karibuni to Aroma of Zanzibar's Kitchen and welcome again to our Ramadan edition. And this week we are going to Comoros to make these beautiful kaimatis in two ways. So I'm going to start mixing the liquid and I have used milk and water, but you can use water alone or milk alone in 200 milliliters. Make sure it is lukewarm. Then we add the yeast, which is one and a half teaspoons and a quarter cup of sugar. This is about 50 grams so i'm just going to mix that well and let it sit and while i get the rest of the ingredients ready and i've used 250 grams of all-purpose flour a teaspoon of baking powder a teaspoon of cardamom powder and a pinch of salt then we're just going to mix it and then i'm going to add this to the wet ingredients so this is 200 milliliters that i'm going to start with because uh, this batter is very thick so i do have 50 milliliters of water kept aside that i may need to use or maybe not all right so we're gonna add the flour little at a time as you can see so you see it's very thick so obviously i do need more liquid all right and like i mentioned uh in in my previous recipes i always say pay attention to the consistency not so much to the measurements of the liquid because flour do have different densities some of them are thick some of them are light all right so what i'm looking for here basically is a consistency of uh, thick batter that can flow if you have uh, done katoa futa if you have seen the videos on how we make katoa futa that is a kind of consistency that i'm looking for so i have added more water and i'm just going to beat this more you can still Continue to use your whisk if you're comfortable with that. But this is how we traditionally do it with our hand. All right. So what I'm looking for is when I drop the batter, I want it to flow consistently without breaking. Okay, just like that. That's what we're looking for. All right. So now I'm just going to cover it and let it sit for about 30 minutes to 60 minutes. It depends how hot your area is and now my batter is ready it has risen in volume almost two and a half times so i've got uh first i'm going to release the air and i've got my bowl of water there so before i dip my hand into the batter i use the water now you can do like this but please be careful not to burn your fingers as you drop the kaimatis into the hot oil you can use a spoon you can use um, a piping bag now most of the comorian kaimatis that i have seen are pretty big so that's why i've decided to use this method now if your sh kaimati shapes are not as great as you can see mine are horrible please don't worry this is not my forte i make kaimatis only in ramadan but it's a practice by the end of ramadan i'm gonna be perfect all right so don't worry about that and uh, we're gonna fry the kaimatis on medium high heat not very high you don't want them to burn and when the heat is low your kaimatis are going to be soaking with grease all right so now why are we doing comorian kaimatis mm -hmm. if you're following me on instagram if you're not please do, fo do follow me we are having a collaboration between the zanzibar between zanzibar and the comoros okay now the kaimatis are ready and you're going to put them in paper towel and then plate them we're going to keep all the bed boys down this is a beautiful one so we're going to keep it on the top you know for presentation sake so yeah so please do follow me on instagram so this week that's beautiful nice fluffy okay so this week we are doing comorian uh, recipes we are eight of us i have tagged all the chefs beautiful chefs on my post so you can see all the beautiful cuisine that we have prepared and next week inshallah we will do zanzibar cuisine okay so now i've decided to show you another method which i wanted to see um because most of the comorian uh, recipes i've seen they do not add the syrup on the top so i've used about a half a cup of sugar a quarter cup of water and uh, you want to see if your syrup is ready that's how you check it out it's sticky and then we're going to turn off the heat and of course a little bit of cardamom and a little bit of a uh, few drops of lemon and uh, then i'm going to add the kaimatis just like that and make sure the heat is off actually if you're using the uh, 
you know the other stove uh, i forgot the name you have to remove your pan your pan from the stove okay so now i decided to change the pot because i realized uh, this one was too small my frying pan and i put it in a bigger one and we're just gonna toss them just like that and mind you these are very very soft so you don't want to put so much pressure because you will what what do i say damage them you know uh, i can't find my vocabulary is very poor today maybe because i'm fasting i can't think straight so anyways uh you're gonna toss them like that until everything is well coated and uh, thank you so much for your support and thank you for watching and you'll find all the ingredients and the measurements in the description box below i wish you a wonderful day and again ramadan mubarak